everybody, T. Gabrielle. I've never had an omelet at a restaurant that I was ever satisfied with. So today, I've decided that I'm going to show you guys my version of a really good omelet. Um, to start with, uh, by the way, eggs aren't bad for you. Eggs are good for you. Uh, the cholesterol that you get from eggs is, is far less than what your body itself produces. So I've got one full egg in here and then I already uh, separated one egg white. So I'm doing one full regular egg and one egg white and I am beating them together, adding only a dash of salt and my usual hint of white pepper. Now, I want my omelet to look as if they have been kissed by a green flower in order to get that effect. And this, um, I'm using uh, two pans because it's the only way I can get the point across. So, I'm going to take a fresh cilantro sprig. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the pan. Then I'm going to take my egg and just gently put it in. I'm going to forget about it for a little bit. While that's taking place in this pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my sauce for my omelet. In my sauce, I am going to add, that's not gonna work for me. I cook better with these. I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Um, a piece of uh, carrot. The reason is I'm doing fresh tomatoes and peppers and I want the whole thing to come together and kind of uh, the carrots take out the acidity in, uh, in the tomatoes. But looks like I left my tomatoes somewhere. What I did was I used regular red tomatoes and I used these sun burst tomatoes because they are bursting with flavor and that's going to make a difference in my omelet. So I add all of that together. Let it cook. It doesn't take very long. While that's taking place, I add, of course, a little bit of white pepper. Some chicken bouillon. Not too much, just enough to taste so that it's not lacking in salt. And uh, a dash of cayenne pepper to kick it up a notch. And then I just let that cook uh, until it comes down to where there's not so much water but we'll be here forever if I wait for this to finish. So, I've done it already. And meanwhile, my egg is just about done. I want a sun-kissed egg. And I went ahead and made the topping for you for my omelet. So now, I have some green beans that I cooked in broth and then I drained them. So I'm going to take my green beans. I want them warmed up. So I'm putting them on here, uh, laying them in the direction that I want so they can warm up. Meanwhile, my egg is almost done. As I said, I want my egg to look as though it has been kissed by a green flower. So very carefully, um, I have to take it and flip it over without making a big mess for my omelet. So there, and to make things easier, I went ahead and I did this for you. Um, I also wanted to um, serve it with steak. So I took my steak, I marinated it in a ginger sesame soy sauce that I'm going to take right now and I'm going to let that reduce on my good stove while I put together 
the omelet for you. Again, as you know, I have to go through all this and move this stuff because my virtual assistant does not move. And uh, just give me one moment to be with you. All right. Now we're moving on. So there. And by the way, I did add also some pimentos to my... Uh, to my mixture look at that the omelet is fish finishing up but I'm way ahead of it because I already did everything that I, I needed in order to show you my wonderful version of an omelet I can give my thing sizzling that's how fast my stove is so now that's ready and here taking the uh, the egg I did get my sun kissed uh, look look of my egg so I'm going to take it flip it this direction take my warm green beans and I want them to really be the center of my plate so I take my green beans um, and I'm going to add a little bit of the sauce inside and then flip my omelet I am losing my things because of my disorganized virtual assistant and now um, I am going to See, this thing's just finishing up and it really didn't even come out right. Oh, take it away, virtual assistant. Um, so, here we are. I've got my omelet with a delicious sauce to go with it. And as you know, we always have to have something green. So again, I'm going to top it with a cilantro. So there, that is my wonderful veggie omelet, something I've never gotten at any restaurant. And uh, for to serve it with a steak, I've got my steak here. It's nice and rare. I've already done it. And I've taken the, I have taken the uh, marinade and turned it into a glaze. So I'm just going to glaze my steak. So now my steak and egg breakfast is ready and I am going to have breakfast and then I'll be back to show you some more wonderful things. And of course, you know, we have to try it, see how it is. And the egg and uh, the sort of aioli that I created is absolutely, mm really good a little pima and we're there and then the green beans should be mm, nice and crispy mm. to gabrielle for your veggie veggie omelet and steak breakfast thanks for watching